When we talk about the economy, we always talk about unemployment and jobs. So let me tell you something that some of you may not know. Once a month, the federal government comes out with a report on unemployment, it comes out with a number of reports. The official unemployment rate is 5%. The real unemployment rate in this country, including those people who have given up looking for work, and those people who are working part-time, is close to 10%. Yeah. Yeah. Let me tell you something else that is very rarely discussed. That is the tragedy of youth unemployment in this country. Yeah. Youth unemployment. Yeah. graduated high school who are between the ages of 17 and 20 years of age. And this is what they reported back. If the kids are white, 33% are unemployed or underemployed. If the kids are Latino, 36%. The kids are African American, 51%. <laughs> stand up on your own two feet, you want to make some money, you want to become an adult, you want to get out of the house. And millions of young people are unable to do that. But it is part of another tragedy as well. And that is that in America today, we have more people in jail than any other country on earth. And if anyone thinks there's not a connection between high youth unemployment and 2.2 million people being in jail, I think you would be wrong. So here is radical idea number two. And that is that as a nation, we should be investing in jobs and education, not more jail and not more incarceration. So many 
hours. It, it largely comes down to the fact that wages in this country are very, very low. That's a fact. Now, you can do the arithmetic as well as I can. Federal minimum wage is $7.25 an hour. Truth is, truth is, and I remember, I was in Detroit last year, talking to some young people working in McDonald's in the fast food industry. They couldn't even get there in seven and a quarter an hour. Some of them are parents. They can't even get 40 hours a week at the place they work. They're working in two or three separate places, making buses from one place to the other. The truth of the matter is that $7.25 an hour is a starvation wage. We've got to raise the minimum wage to a living wage. Thank <laughs> you. 